Lithium Australia has lodged two new patent applications regarding your processing technology. What is the significance of this? Well, one shouldn't underestimate the importance of the discovery. If you look at uh, the extraction of lithium in most processes, it's to a large extent about managing water. We found that when we designed the silage process that there was more capital involved and more operating cost involved uh, balancing the water, removing water so we could precipitate the lithium. This process gives us the ability to do that from low tenor solutions, low concentration solutions of lithium, and as a consequence you don't have to remove that water. So it has a huge impact with respect to the way we plan to process lithium and perhaps other parties plan to process it in the future. How will this technological advancement potentially relate to your silage technology? When we first designed a full-scale plant, which is some time ago, and we made an ASX announcement with respect to the uh, commercial outcomes last July, we found that a very large proportion, the order of 70% of the capital cost and a large proportion of the operating cost revolved around managing water, getting rid of it so you could precipitate the lithium. As a consequence of applying this new technology to the silage process, we don't have to remove most of that water to precipitate lithium chemicals. So it has a marked effect on capital cost and a marked effect on operating cost. Are there other potential applications for this technology? Quite clearly, because of the chemistry of lithium and the fact that you do have to control water to get lithium out of solution, it has very broad application for any lithium solutions. And of course, there are lithium solutions on a global basis that people recover lithium from, the brines in South America being a terrific example. And of course, those brines require solar evaporation for about two years to recover that lithium. Perhaps we have the solution. Then there are oil field brines and other brines. We probably can't get it down to seawater salinities, but we're pretty confident that we can precipitate lithium from very, very low concentration lithium solutions. Can you discuss the Australian Government's Lithium Valley Initiative? Oh, the Government, of course, has uh, uh, an initiative. It's a federal government initiative to establish a lithium industry here in Western Australia. And we're very thankful for the government support that we've had in the past, and in particular the research and development rebates. We do have some concern about the current policy, as announced in the budget papers in May, and quite clearly we would like to see the government reconsider some of the aspects of that policy.